Guardian Cup victory was the crowning moment of the season. You must be delighted to win some silverware in your first season as manager of the first team. Yeah, yeah, I am delighted. It, it seems like a long distant memory now, but um, but no, it's always an achievement. That's what we play football for. You play to win trophies, and, um, and there's only realistically three trophies that we can win. So we, we got one of them. Um, and it's a tough cup to win. It is. We started off um, away at Moorfield on a we had a game called off there to a water that pitch after we'd done the warm up one day and, um, and then they put us on the tightest pitch you'll ever, you know, you'll ever see. And, um, and it, you know, it, it's tough going to these places, you know, we play a similar thing playing against uh, all of the good teams in, in the Warrington League. I think we, to win the cup we had to beat the top three teams in the Warrington League. You were all good sides there, sides that are pushing to get in the mid Cheshire League. And, um, so, no, I, I, I was delighted with that, and it just proves that, again, leading up to that final, when we had the team focused and they were really pushing for places in the final, they were really pushing to win games, to win semi-final, to get to the final, it just shows that when we do that, when we have that drive and determination and focus, that we will win games, but, and then it shows that it's no secret that, that after that, we lost four in a row after the final, because that focus, that determination dropped off, and, Again, that, I can't help have a slight tinge of disappointment after the cup final that all that came about. But you, you learn lessons after that, and I think I think I hope that the players will learn the lessons. I've learned lessons from it. Um, that you know you can't drop off any game in this league. You can't drop off, and if you drop off, you will lose the game. So leading up from that, do you think the Guardian Cup win makes up for the disappointing season, or would you rather exit the cup early and be competing for the league? But from my point of view, it doesn't make up for the disappointing season in the league. You know, I, I, we set out in this league to to at least be challenging up there. We know Nuts are a very good side, and Spiegel are a very good side. There's some real good sides in this league, but we need to be challenging up there. We've got to be, and truth be known, we haven't. Before the cup final, like I said, we was fifth, and we had games in hand. And if we were pushed on after the cup final, we'd have won, we could have been up into second and third quite easily. Um, but we didn't, so and, and that's disappointing. So it doesn't quite make up for it. It softens the blow of, a, of, of the league campaign, but it doesn't quite make up for it. And I think all around we've got to improve next year, and we've got to be able to focus on both cup runs and league. We can't just do one or the other because that's not what we're about. You know, we've been going back two years. You know, when Pez was in charge in his first season, he won the cup and the league. And we need to get back to, to looking to looking like that side again, or looking like that club again that's up there challenging on both fronts and not not settling for winning a cup. You know, we want to be pushing on and winning leagues as well. Would you say the bigger issue for me all this season was failing to score enough goals or struggling to start the team? I think I, I think it's a bit of both, but which is a, I know it's a bit of a get out of that, but you know I've looked at this quite a lot on the league and I think we're fifth top scorers, sorry, no, we're fifth best defence, fifth or sixth best defence, but we're nowhere near top scorers, something like nine top best top scorers, so, you know, on that basis you'd say that we don't score enough goals, because to be up there then you'd have to be scoring enough goals, but the league table doesn't lie, you know, and, you know, sixth best, sixth best defence, but ninth best score, and we're about ninth in the league, ninth in the league, so, it doesn't lie, so it's a collective responsibility, we've got to keep more clean sheets, without a doubt, and we've got to score more goals, and that's, everybody's got to take responsibility for that, um, it's not just the forwards, it's not just the, you know, the lads at the back, it's just, the league campaign just hasn't been quite good enough, and, you know, we've all got to take responsibility for that, so, I wouldn't really pin it down to one thing, Again, it's, it's a collective thing that we've got to take. So what do you think needs to change in order to challenge the league next season? Well, I, I, I think there's probably three things really. We've got to we've got to all change to maintain that focus in every single game. Whether it's league, whether it's cup, whether it's you know, uh, the league cup, you know, whether it's a friendly, we've just got to want to win every single game. And this is what you know, I mean, I won't mention the lad, but a lad who has played with years ago, he um, won't mention it to embarrass him. He played with Green, I was played with for years, and he used to say to me that I, uh, when I've got beat on a Saturday, I train in the week thinking about the lad that beat me, who were my, and he said, I train, and I train, and I train hard because I think about that lad that's just beat me. And we need to get that mentality in our club, we need to back in this team, and it's there, you know, it's not, it's not something that's gone away. But we need to get that back every single game so that lads 
should have been a cut and just relax and think that's it, it's over. Well, if you get beaten again, it should hurt them in a game, you know, and, and then the next thing should hurt them and, and to get to, again to go back to that. So that, that lad that sat on his couch on that Saturday night, the speaker, he sat there with a smile on his face. And we should be sat there, you know, grumpy thinking, I'm going to do something about that. And that's, that's been slightly lacking a little bit this year. We should want to win, absolutely. Even in training, we should want to win absolutely everything. There should be that competitive streak in the <laughs> training, and then it will spill over into the games. So, so yeah, I, I think that there's, there's a couple of So that's one thing, you know, that we need to maintain that focus, that real competitive edge rippling through the club, I mean, training right the way through. Um, we've got we've got our eyes on a few players that are coming in. You know, we spoke to a few new lads that are coming in. Um, they'll definitely boost the, the team, both teams. Um, so and, and and maintaining you know the play that maintaining the current squad that we've got and and having them come back, refocused, ready to go again, energetic. Say, okay, you know that wasn't quite good enough. Let's address that now and then we'll get it. So will there be any change in the coaching staff next year? Yes, it's going to be a, it's going to be a little uh, rejig around. Um, is um, we've got Fergus and um, our gym is stepping down from the first team uh, duties, and uh, we're going to bring in Lee Webster back up, up into the first team fold as well. He's got massive, massive qualities, which is obviously shown winning the league in his first season, and um, and it's just right that we use that in the first team. That's got to come up and we've got to use it in the right way for this club. So it, we're probably about seventy-five percent of the way there in terms of how we're going to set up the, 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 the management, the, the coaching constitution next year and uh, we, we need to finalise that but there's definitely going to be some changes that will definitely be for the better. So who will have to go to the next time? Uh, again, not been finalised yet, we've got a, a few irons in the fire. Um, we do like to recruit from within, but it's getting more and more difficult. Um, but it's um, again, we're seventy-five percent of the way there. Uh, we're working uh, with the likes of care and etc. You know, and all the people that matter around the club and uh, to make sure that we make the right decisions and uh, and we can continue with the success that we've had with the as well as bringing Lee up, who will give all these qualities to the first team. We chose John Chichak, the GPS and always player this season. Do you agree with that? Um, I probably should keep looking at me out for last presentation now, shouldn't I? But, um, so, yeah, it's, uh, John's been brilliant, you know, he, he has, he, he's, uh, you know, I don't really like singing people out, but I would say he's one of the people that does maintain that focus, that drive, every single game, and he doesn't let really, it doesn't matter to him, he cares so much, and it shows, it shows in his play. Um, so, he's been brilliant, he's a top, top player. Um, for me, he's the best centre out in the league. You know, just so glad that we've got him out. So, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with your choice. Yeah. Finally, what was your highlight of the season? Um, the well, again, it seems like a long distance memory, but it's the Guardian Cup final. Um, it's winning that. Um, it was probably a, a, a few others in the semi final was a big moment for us, getting, obviously getting there um, after extra time and the last minute of extra time. Uh, when it looked like penalties was looming, and obviously that can go with the way. But um, it's definitely the Guardian Cup final. And, we, we, and again, going back to that focus, is that we worked really hard for that, the lads worked really hard for that. We really stuck together. I don't think we played our best football in the final, but it was a matter of sitting together and grinding out results. And we, and we did that. And if you do that, you'll win more games than you lose. And that's what we really got to get, get over to the lads, really. And, and the lads have got to get in their heads. Is that it's not all about, it's not always going to be about free flow and pretty football. Sometimes you're just going to have to stick together and grind stuff out. And if you do that, more often than not, you'll win games rather than losing. Thanks,